Hello and welcome to another Let's Play. Me, the game of Woof 6 of Komorebi. On the last Let's Play, we were seduced and seduced Taylor. I think. We at least smooched a whole bunch and turned the lights off. And also learned about his past, where he was a bit tubby, but then a person that he was bullying him got him a... Uh, something he was allergic to, and he stayed in the hospital and lost all that weight. So yeah, a bit about his past, and we got the Awoos. So let's see, that's about three people of the group that he's uh, Awooed, excluding Dante and Chiron. I think that's everybody, right? <laughs> and sorry, I just couldn't resist doing that voice that he seemed to slip into where it's all sultry sultry where i don't know it might be a little bit romantic but also i just found it a bit humorous that was a nice little pick me up taylor was definitely easygoing and had opened his like i mean opened up the most to me ooh, ooh. Aside from Chiron, he's the only other person who told me about his vision. That clearly made a difference in how much we were able to bond. Also, I should probably reset my face. There we go. Hyenas. It's almost like a wall that needs to be broken down. Uh, broken before we can move forward. I start to wonder what Isaac's vision was. Dante's too. I mean, we got an idea what Isaac's was. As far as Clay's goes, I can only imagine that his is extremely concerning. But they still uh, remain a mystery to me. All three of them. I knew Isaac's was positive, And that it had to do with her current situation. Place ha was bad enough. Places was bad enough that he had a business card for the Vision Protection Program. Oh yeah, because we thought he did a vision thing so that he could um get music from his future self, but it was Vision Protection Program, which I guess was that he commits a crime or he might commit a crime or that somebody in his vision commits a crime or something but dante i don't think he said a single thing about his which is true i think it well i guess it wouldn't have to do with his family though because he doesn't think about it is he taking stories from his future like clay did with his music all he can do is think back to that day when he made a pact against fate we made they weren't in touch with any of their vis in any of their visions anymore not even an afterthought even in the certainty of their visions there's still so much uncertainty hopefully i can get them to open up and share a little more we interrupt you from our regularly scheduled program I stopped in my tracks. It's them again. It can't be. It's actually possible. Yet, I'm seeing it with my own two eyes. They stand there, giving me the smirk again. This isn't real. This can't be real. I shake my head, but they're still there. A moment later, they hold up their head. They hold up their head. It's on Apple this time, or hand. Did I read head into hand? It's Clay's diary? Nobody else in the room seems to be aware of their presence. Why are they doing this to me? I need to know. They taunt me with symbols of my guilt, my regrets, a testament to every act of folly since I arrived. I start to rush towards them, maintaining eye contact. They need to tell me why. I need to... I bump into Dante and stumble back. Whoa, just who I was looking for. Having a good time so far, Delta? Dante, it, it's the agent again. 
having the best time, having the time of my life. Glad to hear it. Want another drink? I can barely taste the booze in these things. Interesting. Because we're able to tell them before, but now not. Hmm. I can tell he's already drunk. At least a little. But I choose to take him up on his offer and have another. We're already halfway there to the fourth and final midnight. Uh, well, yeah, I guess halfway to the end of the party, I guess. You know, it's almost our time to hang out. I've been looking forward to this night for a while now. <laughs> Ever since Taylor suggested the whole quantum leap thing. I'm a sucker for big moments, though. And like I say, New Year's Eve is one of the best. Super glad we get to spend one of these midnights together. Mm. I smile, yet feel nothing but fight on the inside. That's not even what I want to say to him. But the agent just vanished, like a figment of my imagination. That's possible. I know I wasn't hallucinating. It was real. It had to be. Somehow, they're messing with my head. Let me see things, feel things, do things. Or perhaps I'm just saying that to absolve myself of some guilt. You okay, Delta? It looks like you zoned out there. I shake my head and tell him everything is fine. Wanna take your drink and go someplace quiet? Maybe my room? You know, like when we first hung out. I nod. Just don't try and get me to spill any plot secrets. <laughs> After a few drinks, who knows what I'll say. Hmm. Right. Red tape. NDAs. I've been silent a lot on a lot of stuff myself lately. Maybe that's it. I've been bottling everything up inside. Let's just hope that sometime soon, I can let it all out. We enter his room and he immediately turns off his monitor. Ooh, can't be letting anyone see my writing. Not by choice, of course, I just, I just don't want to get sued. We both take a sip of our drink. Honestly, I'm almost done with all the booze. It was a good, it was good a party for the first couple of weeks though. In fact, part of me hopes we go through all the booze that Clay's bought. The party is pretty loud, and I can tell everyone's had a few. So, I actually wanted to give you something. Ooh, ooh. I meant to do this earlier, but I saved it for tonight. <laughs> really? Thanks, Dante. Ooh, I like where this is going. As long as it doesn't involve treason, I have had enough of that. Uh, I'm sorry, I just want to do jokey things. I should have probably done that from the start, be like, joke. Same. Enough for a lifetime. Oh, Isaac sure strapped us in for a wild ride, huh? He gave us a strap. Okay. Delta. <laughs> he says my name in stern fashion, like he's clearly joking, but he's clearly joking. You sure know how to add to the moment. Just a sec. I hope you don't find this gift too sappy. I know you've never really read my work, so I wanted to give you something special. He walks over to the bookshelf and takes something out. Here. Ooh. After he hands it over, I inspect it. It's an autographed copy of one of his novels. Well, I, I hope it's not weird that I consider my own work a gift, but this is a first edition copy. There aren't many out there. Can you make it out to eBay? It was part of a test run to see if the book could sell. After it did well, they printed way more. So what's the first edition stuff anyway? It's called Forlorn. I remember Clay's mentioning he had a first edition copy as well. It's also the one with the character that reminded me of you. Hmm. I think he means the character that dies. I'm always a bit hesitant to give away my own books. A lot of people think I'm just full of myself or something. But I consider my work an extension of myself. Like I always say, the purest form of self-expression. So to me, it's like giving a piece of myself away. 
God, imagine doing that then getting shut down. That would suck. It happens more than you'd think. That's why I'm so selective about it. I was pretty sure it wouldn't fall flat on you, though, so... In my mind, you're one of the good ones. Yay, I'm one of the good ones. It's pretty flattering, and I understand his intent. I don't really think of this as a self-serving gesture. I hope you'll read it. Prepare for a scathing review. Sorry, I, I want to do joke runs. <clears throat> oh, another one for the pile, huh? Don't worry, I'm way too familiar with criticism. Okay, romancy time. Of course I'll read it. Glad to hear it. Make sure to tell me what you think. He smiles at me and rubs the back of his head. Everything going on lately has got me thinking a lot. With how uncertain tomorrow is, I need to seize every moment. Mm. Especially if I want my vision to come to pass. It's a good one. He sits on the edge of the bed and taps the spot beside him. I guess he doesn't consider me a stranger anymore. That's nice. I join him, placing my drink on the nightstand beside me. I know how I told you about reconnecting with my family. Well, to be honest, it was more than just wishful thinking. It's not that I want to do it, it's more like I know I'll do it regardless. So why get in the way of progress, right? He takes a sip of his drink. We're all at the dinner table, happy, laughing. Not a care in the world. I have a brother, too. <laughs> that one was a shock to me. But that's all there is to it. One big, happy family. Talk about a boring vision, huh? No. I mean, it's it's not like rocket ships and all that stuff, but it's, uh, it's a nice one. Doesn't sound boring to me. A guarantee, a guarantee of recollection is a big deal. Reconciliation. I guess so. I didn't really think about reconnecting with them until until recently. I guess seeing them almost every day was enough. Hmm. I don't even know if this makes any sense, but even after I ran away from home, they still kept me company. Knowing that the vision would happen again, it got me through some rough nights. Hmm. Especially since we were happy in it. A far cry from how I left things when I ran away. Another sip. That and there's no place more lonely than a library. Trust me. <laughs> I wouldn't wish that fate on my worst enemy. Hmm. Yeah, but he's actually a pretty interesting guy. Grew up in a library. He used it to hone his skills as a writer. Abandoning the family, he knew he'd reconnect with through his vision. I have that vision to thank for my independence, too. Sometimes when you run away, you never know what'll happen. I guess I was graced with the knowledge that it'd only be temporary. That made it a lot easier to pull the trigger. Guess part of me knew we'd be happy again in the future. But it's been a long time since then. They haven't reached out, so I think it's my turn. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they read my novels, you know? Or for that matter, what my brother's name is. I mean, don't you usually go on, like, writers go under, like, a pseudo something? Oh, no, I'm just rambling, though. <laughs> I didn't bring you here to put you to sleep. It's okay, vending is healthy, which is true. I'm always here for a friend in need, sadness. You're cute when you ramble, Dante. You gotta do it. Wait, what? I mean, thanks, Delta. I, 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 it's so easy to judge people after they vent. I'm just, I'm just glad that it didn't sour your perception of me. Probably should have said uh, venting is chill, because I just feel like I'm just being like, ooh, ooh, yes, that is such a sad story. How about you put that mouth to better use, Dante? He stands up from the bed. You hear that? I hear the party goers counting down in the backyard. Looks like the third midnight is finally here. I stand up from the bed and turn to face Dante. Her eyes lock, and I feel emotion uh, coursing through me. Everything he told me, 
I can see it in, all in his eyes. The pain, the loneliness, but the hope, too. Part of me wonders what he sees in mine. Three, two, one. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Delta. Smoochie time? We hug each other, securing a tight embrace. It lasts for a while, but doesn't feel awkward in any way. I realize this is the first time we've ever been this close. When the hugging ends, he steps back and looks into my eyes again. You know, I've honestly just been stalling since I'm nervous. Why? Well, you know how I said that book was like a, like a, like a part of myself? Mm -hmm. There's a reason I wanted you to have it. After you read it, you'll know me so much better. Hmm. Even if you don't realize it, you still will. <laughs> Each word is my heart poured onto that page. Just don't try to ask me about metaphors. That stuff just goes way over my head, you know? And I wanted you to have it. Here was the back of his head, clearly nervous. So, since you'll be getting to know me better, I was wondering if... I could have the honor of doing the same. <clears throat> Do I have to write a book? An essay? <laughs> Not to myself. I mean, wow, I am ruining the moment. I, I I just think it would be cool if we spent more time together. It's another blushy face. Can I use this as a thumbnail? Note to self, make this the thumbnail. Especially after all this Argus nonsense comes to an end. I, I I know you're already dating within the group, but that won't be an issue. No. A date? It would be an honor. We can get to know each other better, but just as friends. No, I'm getting all the sausage. Or giving all the sausage? I'm not sure what's... Uh, if I'm top, bottom, or versatile. Wow. Talk about a happy new year. Thanks, Delta. This is going to be my best one yet. Except everybody needs to get tested first. He places his hand in mine and brings it to his lips. Kissing on top of it softly, he releases his grip and smiles. Pursue all romance options simultaneously. I can think of a few cool places to go, but right now, we've got a party to get to. Don't want to miss that fourth and final midnight. Interesting. Did we already get Isaac's thing? I mean, we haven't done his night, but still. We leave the room hopeful for a great end to the quantum leap. Isaac would be spending the fourth midnight with me. I'm kind of nervous. Whatever surprises he planned, he's sure to have been tight-lipped about it. Ow! Now I have to go through the entire thing again. Well, actually, we just uh, need to load it. Hyena. Oh, I wonder if they're going to actually keep on this where, like, as soon as it hits that midnight, it's going to do 12 to 31st or something like that. Mm, I guess since it didn't do a new save, we could just boop that. <clears throat> since it's not like, and here's Isaac's thing. Hmm. Though, maybe we should cut it here, because it has been been because I feel like Isaacs might get skipped or rolled into another thing yeah it's something's going to happen at midnight so yeah but anyways I was saying that this would change we'll have to see so anyways the end of this let's play <coughs> <coughs> sorry still have COVID <laughs> we're feeling a lot better than yesterday so anyways end of this let's play so Comments, cuz I like comments. Tell me what you like, dislike, tips, tricks, otherwise. If you like my YouTube and would like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out other videos to help it grow. And please remember to spay and neuter your animals to help control the pet population. And since we're doing ASMR, I'm tapping on my mic, and here's me tapping on my desk. Though it might be uh, void gated out, because, you know, I have that thing going. Here's me rubbing on the mic. Anyways, yeah, until next time. Sorry, I want to. I mean, I do this every single day, so. Uh, I'll do it as I do it. You know, and it's a side plate. So, 
Spain in your and thanks and see ya.